Hello and welcome to my channel and another video on Spurt fly borderless units. In this video we're going to cover updating the firmware of your units to the latest firmware version out there. Before we start though we need to back up our settings so go and open your existing settings app and once you have it open you will see that we now have a new version available. Just click on OK. Go to your Backup tab, and once we're there, just click on Save All Banks. Once you save all your banks, there's three of them normally, in a location that you can easily find, we are ready to go and do our firmware update. So just close the app and let's go to the Spirit Systems website. And once you've loaded, you can go and click the download link you will see with that uh, we now have a version 3.1.0 available somewhere in the future that might change it is available for windows mac linux free usb free bsd raspberry pi and android i am going to click the download for apple because i use a macbook pro we are also going to go down and download the firmware so click on that spurt icon that'll download that firmware for us and while we're here, if you have a radio that is supported, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and go and download the integration part of your radio as well. Now that we have downloaded the software and moved it to a location where I can easily find it, we're going to go and install the software. So I'm going to take and open this disk image file and then take the Spurt Settings app and drag it to my Applications folder. Note that I'm choosing to keep both versions here since I already have an existing one, as I might want to use the old one for something in the past. Don't want to just override it. Then we can go and find the new newly installed version. We can rename it. I just want to rename it to 3.1, but the system wouldn't let me, so I'll just leave it at 3. All right, now we've done that renaming. I want to actually go and open the app, but you'll notice, notice that on a Mac, you cannot just go and open an app that was downloaded with that wasn't signed by Apple. So what you need to do here is hold in the control button, click on the app and select open, and then select open again. Now this will save that setting so you don't have to do that again in the future. You also want to say, yeah, allow access to document folder here, otherwise it won't save your settings. And that's important, so click on OK. Now we plug in the USB connector into the sys port and apply power to the fly brothers unit. Wait for the red light to finish blinking. And once it does, we are ready to open our app. Now we can go and find our Spirit Settings app, just Alt-Tab on the Mac, opens up, and we are promptly informed that our new application is not compatible with the firmware that is currently installed on our fly wireless unit. And that is OK, just click OK. Now you'll see where I had you make backup earlier, because you cannot do it from here. So not a problem, we have a backup, so we're just going to go to update tab click on update and then we're going to go to select this allows it to select the firmware we downloaded earlier i'm just going to go and type in the name of the file and then once i do that you'll see that i have two versions of firmware here i'm going to go and select a new one and uh, it shows up here so next we can actually go and try and do the flash operation you will however see as soon as i do flash, I am informed that I need to make sure that the USB drivers installed on my laptop is up to date. I have made a video earlier and uploaded to my channel, just go and look for it, that shows how to do the install and the actual update of your USB drivers directly from the vendor's website so you are sure to have the latest version. Once you've done it, come back here and click on yes because you have now the latest version. And at this point in time, that firmware file gets transferred to our uh, fly unit. 
and once it's transferred it actually gets splashed. I know the status just says uploading but it does it in two stages to make sure that upload doesn't get corrupted in the process. So uh, very quick operation and there we go we're just about done and there it is. Now you're gonna go back and take the power off your fly barless units because we have to uh, recycle the power on it. I also highly recommend closing the spirit settings app at this point in time and then reopening it so we start from fresh. Always start the power on your fly wireless unit first and then come back and open the, the settings app. That way you don't have any issues with connecting. So there we go. The stage finished. All right, next we are going to check our settings. It's still there. So we open the app again. And then we're going to go and see that we have version 3.1. Click to the general tab. Make sure all of these settings are correct, including your radio is set to the correct one. You can also go and check the channels. But uh, honestly, when you go to the diagnostics tab, you're next, you will find uh, all the settings there. Um, you can validate and verify the settings there. So in the diagnostic tab, you can go and take a look, move all your sticks left, right, up, center. If your values, like my pitch there, is not at zero at center, turn off the, the fly bar list and turn it back on or even the radio. Because typically those are synced automatically and you really don't need to make any changes here. And you certainly don't want to use the trim switch to make any changes to your center position. Um, of course, for zero, uh, for negative 100 and positive 100, you go into your servo travel limits and make sure those all go to the values you need to. So you can see I need to make a few little small adjustments to my radio here to make sure that works correctly. I'm checking everything, including my heading lock setting on me, my uh, bank settings. So everything looks good. Next, we're going to go to the servo settings tab. Make sure that nothing has changed here. We still have the right servo frequencies and pulses in there, the proper reversals. And I'll uh, show you a little test and end I do just to make sure that all the servos travel in the right direction when moving the, the helicopter. Yeah, I don't do any servo travel corrections here, so I'm not going to go into that. But if you did do, do have some servos that don't travel all at to the same limits, you can go in the servo travel collection and make sure that those are set. Next, we're just gonna go and look at limits. Um, pitch range, um, cyclic ring, all of those look good. And then of course your radar endpoints for left and right. Um, cyclic gain, if your setting is uh, not correct, make a tweak here. I left mine a default before, but I thought I'd just tweak it up to 60 because I read somewhere 60 is kind of the norm. Um, so I'll come back and make the changes for all my banks on this and I'll show you what I mean by all my bank settings in a little bit here. <clears throat> make sure my cyclic rotation speed and rudder rotation speed 8 is kind of the minimum. The range is uh, between 8 and 12. I uh, sometimes bump those up especially on bank 1 and bank 2. Next we look at advanced, I get no changes here, that looks right. And then I go and make sure I save the settings again, just to make sure. And then to make sure I have backups of these settings, again, for my new version 3.1, I maybe could load back the old settings, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go and make an actual backup again of my settings as applied to 3.1. I'm not going to bore you and show you all that in detail. Next you go and click on that double little arrow thingy and look at all your banks in the comparisons making sure those settings are what you expect them to be as you see i have uh, just changed my cyclic gain so now i have a new line in there and i will go and change those anyway so those are the settings done next i'm going to go to my model and i'm going to tilt it forward backwards left and right and watch the side si uh, swash blade sorry and uh, make sure that moves in the correct direction when I move my uh, heli. And that's it. That's all there is to updating your firmware, making sure everything is correct before you uh, go and fly. Now go and unplug your sys cable there, your port 
out of the sys cable and if you had any integrations you want to plug that cable back in there as you can see mine is hanging out there anyway thank you for watching and i uh, appreciate you it if you would subscribe like subscribe all those things till next time goodbye